Well, the war on Christmas is totally fake. They always tell you that on TV, but it's also underway again and got off to a hot start last week with the left launching a new offensive against Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now the war machine is opening up new fronts faster than we can keep up, but we're trying. An elementary school principal in Nebraska has banned a whole swath of Christmas-related items from his school. That would include Christmas trees, elves, Santa, and red-green color combinations. How about candy canes? Are they allowed? No. They're banned, too. Why? Because they're in the shape of a J, which represents Jesus. Mark Stein is an author and columnist. He joins us tonight. You know, I just want to say again, the war on Christmas is not real, Mark, so stop talking about no. it, you right-wing no, no. fox guy. Yeah, entirely fictitious. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, bite, I'll bite on that and go back a, a couple of centuries, Tucker. You know, uh, the separation of church and state, when the founders came up with it, it's basically that they didn't want President Washington being the head of the Church of America as the Queen is head of the Church of England. That's it. They didn't want the Archbishop of Virginia sitting in the Senate as the Archbishop yeah. of Canterbury sits in the House of Lords. And like a lot of uh, sane concepts, it's uh, metastasized into something utterly insane. And when you're actually banning colors, when you're banning two of the colors on the color spectrum, red and green, <laughs> so there's only orange, yellow, and blue left, you're bonkers. You're nuts. You've, you've flown the coop of reality. You are, in, you are living in a, a more bizarre fantasy than Santa and his reindeer and his elves could ever come up with. <laughs> You just banned Starbird and Port. How dare you? Mm. Okay, another thing. A Minnesota mm. State University professor tweeted this week that Mary the Virgin could not have consented the conception of Christ and that God was behaving, therefore, in a, quote, predatory manner. That professor, whose salary is paid for by taxpayers, also tweeted himself decorating a Christmas tree with satanic ornaments. Have you taken mm. any of his classes, Mark Stein? <laughs> no. And, and the reason is this is the thing that this is because 50 years ago, this kind of shallow banality would have been the province of a drunk undergraduate at three in the morning. Um, I, I mean, basically, the idea that, that God uh, has gotten the Virgin Mary back to his pad and she's saying, I really must go. And he's saying, oh, baby, it's cold outside and uh, put some records on while I pour. I miss the days uh, when atheists uh, were at least intelligent enough uh, exactly. to take seriously what they were porting to knock down. Uh, the, the stupidity and banality and shallowness and reductiveness of this is a dismal comment on the state of atheism in America. And it's not even brave. They'd never criticize Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, or Apple, mm. Tim Cook, or no. Google. They suck no. up to people in power and then beat up no. on the evangelicals and call themselves, you know... Countercultural. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pathetic. And they don't seem to make as me uh, the, the same kind of Ramadan uh, jokes as they, oh, they do don't? Christmas jokes. No, it's odd that, isn't it? I wonder why that is, Tucker. Huh. Hmm. So you, you mean this community college professor, whatever this guy is, is yeah. not uh, attacking Muhammad? No, 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 no. This is the card. This is cardboard. This is cardboard courage. By the way, from teachers, even if you're an atheist, the greatest glories of Western, to go back to what Heather was saying, the greatest glories of Western music, art, architecture, right. painting were, were in the cause of Christianity. You're cutting out Botticelli and all the rest of it. Well, the university wouldn't exist without it. So, right. But no, 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 no. No, from Botticelli to, to Frosty. Exactly. That's, a, that's a very <laughs> short leap. Mm. <laughs> so good. Rud Rud Rudolph and Leonardo, all gone. All got to go. <laughs> it's the Cultural Revolution. See ya. Mm. Thanks, Bye. Mark.